We're going to do an exercise using the drawing instruments. This is called uh, exercise number two, and this will help you upskill using the drawing instruments. The first shape that you're going to draw is this weave pattern, and the second shape is this Mitsubishi logo. All right, let's get started. First thing to do is use your ruler, measure up from the bottom of the page 100 millimeters and put a mark like this. Take your T-square and project a light construction line through that mark horizontally across the page. Again with your ruler, this time from the left hand side along that line, measure 70 millimeters and put a mark. Now you're going to take your T-square and your set square and project a line vertically above that mark as shown here. Now you're going to take your ruler and place it with a zero on the ground line and measure up 10 millimeters to the 10 millimeter point, a further 20 millimeters to the 30 millimeter point, again 10 millimeters to the 40 millimeter point, then 20 more millimeters to the 60 millimeter point, 10 more millimeters to the 70, a further 20 millimeters to the 90 millimeter point, and finally 10 more millimeters up to the 100 millimeter point, as shown here. Now, using your T square, what you're going to do is to project light construction lines horizontally across from these marks, as shown here, all the way down. Right, now using your T-square and your 45 degree set square placed in the bottom left corner of the drawing so far, project a light construction line as shown here up to the top. Now what we're going to do is again taking our T-square and our set square, we're going to project lines from all of the intersections of the diagonal line and the horizontal line. From the very top, move across to the next intersection as shown here and project vertically down. Again move across to the next intersection as shown and from the top to the bottom project down. Same again, moving along to the next intersection, project from the very top to the bottom as shown and continue that until you've got to the left hand side of the shape and you'll see the grid pattern developing. You should be left with what you can see here. Now we're going to use that grid to help us draw the weave pattern. Let's take another look to make sure that we draw outlines in the right places. Now start off by taking your T-square and use it to outline from the top left corner to the point shown here and from the point shown here again to the top right corner leaving the gap in between. Now we're going to draw the inside outlines as shown here and now we're going to start the weave pattern where it goes under that vertical line and then over the second one. So starting there going under and then going right across and over to that point as shown here. Be careful you don't outline something you don't want to. Again, the weave pattern starts at the outside, goes under, and then over the second vertical to the outside corner. Now we're going to do this here where we start right over the vertical line going under and then to the outside. And again, underneath, we're going over there and under to that point as shown. Now again, move your T-squared down and on the outside part it's there and there and on the very outside it's from the left hand to this point and from there to the right hand side. Now we're ready to start the vertical outlines. So using your T-square and your set square this time Outline from the top to here and from here to the bottom as shown. And again, the two short internal outlines as shown. And with the next weaves, it's a little bit easier to see because we're going from that point 
under the horizontal weave and then over the second horizontal weave as shown with an outline. Move it across again and from the very top to the point where it goes under that horizontal and then over the second one down to the bottom as shown here. Now it's the opposite on this side so it's going over the horizontal weave and then under it as shown here. Nudge it along and we're going to do the same but from the inside corner over again and then under the second one like this. Now the last two are a bit more straightforward because that's just the two internal outlines as shown here and here and finally this outside outline there and there. Now we can add some colour and rendering. So first of all put a flat colour across the whole pattern. Now we can emphasise the weave effect by using a black coloured pencil and what we're going to do is just render a darker colour fading to light and then move it across darker to light and you can see that that drop shadow effect compared with the other parts helps. Add them to the other four weaves and we'll have this effect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the second pattern. So measure along from the bottom right of the first pattern as shown here, 70 millimeters and put a mark on that baseline. Now you're going to move your ruler and measure along a further 120 millimeters and put a second mark on the baseline. Now with your T-square and your set square, this time your 60 degree set square, you're going to project a line up to the right from that first mark that we placed and then turn your 60 degree set square around and from the right hand mark project up till the line is intersecting as shown here. Now what you're going to do again with your 3060 but this time with the 30 degree angle here project a line up from the right hand corner until it touches that left hand line as shown and turn your 30 degree set square round so it's projecting a line up from the bottom left corner as shown here. Now you're going to take your T-square and move it up and draw a vertical construction line across the intersection of those two lines like this. Again, using your 3060, this time with a 60 degrees, project a line that goes through that intersection as shown, and turn it round and project a line up again through the intersection like this. Now we're actually ready to outline this shape. Using your 60 degree again, outline from the top to this point here, and from this point to the bottom left hand corner as shown and from the intersection outline from the right hand line down to the baseline like this. Again you're going to turn your set square around and reproduce this on the other side from the top to that point and from this point down to the bottom as shown. And in the same way move your set square across and outline from there through the intersection all the way down to the bottom. You're going to use your T-square to outline across the center here and then move it down and outline those points on the base as shown. Now we're going to put a title block in. So we're going to look at the bottom left hand side of the page and zoom in. Take your ruler and measure up from the bottom of the page five millimeters, put a mark. Further five millimeters, put another mark another five, put a mark, and a final five, and put a mark. So that we're left with those four marks five millimeters apart. Take your T-square and project light construction lines all the way across the page, as shown here, on all four marks.
Once you've done that, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to put it on the right hand side of the page and measure along five millimeters and put a mark as shown here. And with your T square and your set square, you're going to draw a light construction line vertically down, joining those two those four horizontal lines. Now let's look at the right hand side of the page and we'll zoom into here as shown. And we're going to do the same from the right hand side. Take your ruler, measure along five millimeters and leave a mark. And with your T square and your set square, project a light vertical line down joining those four horizontal lines. Now you're going to take your ruler and put it on the 5mm point on the left hand side and measure along 80mm and leave another mark as shown. Again with your T square and your set square project a light construction line vertically down from that point joining the four lines. In the same way take your ruler with the zero on the 5mm line measure along from the right 80mm and put a mark. And again with your T square and your set square, draw a light vertical line down as shown. Now we're ready to outline the title block. So using your T square, project an outline from the left hand 5mm line to the right hand one at the very top and repeat the process on the bottom line as shown here. With your T square and your set square, outline the four vertical lines at the ends and the 80 millimeter marks as shown here. Now we're ready to write in the title block once that's done. The first thing you're going to write in the title block is today's date and then the title of the drawing. In this case it's drawing instruments exercise number two and the last box is for your name.